Hey everyone, today I'll be working on Woodlands Winter DIYs. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to my channel, I'm Tanya. And I do hope you all like, share, and subscribe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started with these thrift store finds. I found these little wooden mittens and this picture frame, and I thought this would make the perfect piece of wall art, or you could just use it as a leaner on a shelf somewhere. But I wanted to do these kind of in those woodland colors and add some greenery and some pine cones. And I thought this turned out really pretty. Now what I'm gonna do is paint the back side of this with the black. And then I'm gonna take one of my snowflake stamps that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just gonna dab some white acrylic paint on there with a the sponge. And I'm just gonna press these down all across this piece of board that is going to be the backdrop for what I'm going to put on top of it. Now I really like this in the bright white and black but because I wanted these toned down just a little bit I'm going to be using this color it's like a woodsy brown color I'll leave it linked in the description below for you and I put that on and let it dry and I really like how it kind of muted those snowflakes because I'm going to be using kind of an off-white color I believe this one is called bleach sand and that's what I'm gonna be painting my wood mittens with. And then I'm gonna be adding the greenery and the pine cones. But I love doing this, taking some uh, wood pieces and just gluing them on to your picture. I just think it gives that really neat 3D effect. And I just thought this made a really pretty kind of woodland style piece of decor for your home. And that's what I'm gonna be working on for a lot of my winter decor because I just think that's so pretty. And I did add a little bit of white paint around the top part of the cuff there of these little mittens, but you can already see this is gonna be so pretty once I get all of this put together. And of course, I wanted to bring in that greenery. I had picked up a whole wreath full of this Fraser fir greenery at the thrift store. And wow, that was such a great find. Now I'm just gonna glue some of this off to the side and then we'll be adding some little white branches and some of the pine cones. And I just thought this made the perfect little woodland piece of wall art. Well, everyone, while we're looking at this, I'll go ahead and just say thank you for stopping by my channel today. And thank you for everyone that has been subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you so much. And thank you for all of my subscribers that have been with me a while. Uh, I have just enjoyed creating and DIYing for all of you. Now I had this little piece of, it's not really, it's like a cloth ribbon, I guess. It had the little pom-poms. And I just thought that finished those little mittens off perfectly. And I always like to pull in just a little bit of white. But you'll have to let me know, everyone, what's the style that you decorate in after Christmas? I really like pulling in the nature. And here this little piece is. I've got it just leaned up there on my display area. And I think this turned out adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think. And I really like how I muted those snowflakes. You'll have to let me know if you like that. Now for our next DIY, I ended up just making something really simple with these, uh, I guess there's like little shadow boxes and I wanted to glue these together. Now I would use wood glue if you wanted this to permanently hold, but I'll probably be taking this apart and turning it into something else for the spring. So I just use hot glue and that's a woodsy smoky uh, brown, I think is this color. But I think this is such a perfect color for the woodlands decor. And it reminds me of quite a bit of a mushroom. And then I always like to take my bleach sand and that's what I'm gonna be painting the tree with. And then I found that little let's chill sign at Dollar Tree and I thought this made the cutest little shelf sitter with the little snowmen and the snowflakes and that sign on top. And the sign does light up, so that's really pretty when it's lit up. Now, the little wooden snowmen, I picked those up this year at Hobby Lobby, and they may still have those. A lot of times they mark all that stuff down really cheap. And I'm just gonna hot glue these on and just make this adorable little, I guess it's kind of like a little vignette that you would set up, but I thought this one turned out so cute. And I was so excited when I found that little let's chill sign because I knew exactly what I was gonna do with it and pair it with these little snowmen. 
Well, everyone, I hope you stay with me. I've got a small review that I'm going to do on something that I wanted to try out, and I think it's something that you'll enjoy. I'm going to be using it to cut down some things outside for all of my winter decor ideas that I have. Oh, and by the way, I found those little snowflakes also at Hobby Lobby, and then I just had some of this gold thread in my sewing box, and I decided just to glue that on to the snowflakes because I wanted to make them look like they were just hanging in the air and falling down on top of the little snowmen. But everyone, you'll have to let me know if you are wanting to see more Christmas or are you ready to move on to some of the winter decor? And I've got lots of that to share with you. And I also have some Christmas uh, ideas that I'm still going to be putting out. I am going to be making some gift baskets for my family and that's going to be a really nice one. But everyone, look how beautiful this turned out. I thought this made the cutest little design, but I am going to be adding some greenery and pine cones, I think, to the back of this to pull it in for that woodland style. Well, hey everyone, I thought I'd pop in here a minute. I wanted to do this review video of this. It's called a Tommy Vic Mini Electric Chainsaw. And I had gotten this a little while back and I wanted to share it with you today because I think it's gonna be perfect to cut down those branches in the winter if you're like me and you like to do some nature type of decor. And I just thought it was a, like a handy little thing to have. And I'm gonna bend the camera down here in a moment so you'll be able to see everything that come with this one. And I will leave a link in the description box below. So if you'll give me just a minute of your time, I'd like to share this with you. And I really think it might be something that you might enjoy and might wanna purchase even for a gift or for yourself. So let's go ahead and bend the camera down and I'll show you everything that come with it. Okay, everyone, I've got everything laid out on the counter so you can see what comes with our Tommy Vic Mini Electric Chainsaw. First of all, you get two 21 volt lithium battery packs and it comes with a charger that you'll just need to pop right in the center there and you'll have a green light that will come on when your batteries are charged. I already pre-charged these for you. And you also have your goggles a spare saw chain. You've got some of the tools you'll need to keep everything tightened up. This one's just to tighten up the uh, screws that hold it together and this was actually the one that will tighten up the chainsaw area. Then they give you a little plastic bottle to fill up with oil if you need to oil your chainsaw and you get some really nice gloves that have the little gripper pads on there to wear while you're using your chainsaw. And also, you've got the user manual and a little quick guide. And there is a little um, worry-free one-year warranty that you can uh, contact right here and send that in. But everyone, this is a really neat little chainsaw. And when you're through using it, you have this really hard carrying case that you can just pop everything in and store it until you're ready to use it again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop in one of my battery packs and you have a little um, safety lock that you'll need to push down right there. And then you can turn it on. But everyone, this is so great. I can't wait to get out there and try it. So let's go ahead and I'll get my coat and gloves and everything on and we're gonna go out there and try this out and see how this works. And there'll be a link in my description box if you like this product and that way you can get one for yourself. Okay, everyone, I'm out here. I've got the chainsaw ready. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut down, we're gonna cut down one of these branches. I think I might go in and cut this one down right here. And so let's see how this works. Well, everyone, that was really quick. So let's go ahead and take this one off. Well, everyone, I absolutely love this. I think this is a great little tool 
and uh, I think it's going to be really handy to trim down all of the small little shrubs and some of the tree limbs around my house. So I definitely suggest to check this out because I think it's a keeper. Okay, everyone, back to our DIYs. I'm gonna be taking that woodsy, smoky brown color and going over this blue birdhouse that I picked up at the thrift store. And I love how this turned out. I just did a light kind of brush over top of that and that made the prettiest color when it dried. And I'm just gonna decorate this up with some greenery and some pine cones. And this makes the perfect little piece of woodland decor. Now, I did pick up these twigs last year at Hobby Lobby. They come in a bag, and I got them marked down like 60% off. And these are a wonderful find, and they did have these again this year. Or you could just get those twigs from outside, like I did with that new little mini chainsaw, and you could paint them and put some little glitter on them and get the same effect. But you can see I just popped a few of those on the front of this bird birdhouse, added some of that greenery. This is some of the cypress pine greenery garland that I ordered from Amazon. I will leave that linked in the description box for you also. I have been using that for all kinds of my DIYs. But everyone, this was such a simple little design, so definitely do not pass up those birdhouses, no matter what color they are. You can always paint them, and I think birdhouses decorated with the greenery and the pine cones and little branches is just perfect for that woodland style winter decor. And I decided to add just a little bit of greenery and a few pine cones to the top of this birdhouse. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Now, I still do have some winter birds lined up for the winter decor that I want to make for you. And I hope that you'll get to see that video in the future. But everyone, here is our little birdhouse setting up, displayed on the shelf. And it could not be cuter. And I think what a wonderful little find. And you can see how that brown and that blue popping out through the grain was such a pretty color contrast. Now for our next DIY, and this is our last one, I found this little box and it had the candle in it. I decided to flip it upside down. It had the gold on it and that snowflake. And I just wanted to once again lightly brush that woodsy smoky brown color on there. And I'm gonna be using this kind of like a riser with the lights on the bottom so that worked out great because I ended up taking some of that chocolate brown in a metallic color and I'm going to dab this on with a sponge brush and I really love how this looked once I had it lit up and the little decor on the top of it but I think that's something fun to do with these little boxes that um, are supposed to be used for just candle holders. I love to flip them upside down and decorate them and put some kind of really fun little design on top. I had these little reindeer. I think they're actually little deer or reindeer, but I picked those up at Big Lots one year and I thought I'm just gonna do a little vignette type scene, take some more of my cypress pine, and then you'll see me take some of those twigs that we used on the birdhouse and make it look like they're just standing maybe in a forest. And once I had this all lit up and on the shelf, it made an adorable little design. And I actually set this one on top of my refrigerator and it looks so pretty lit up at night. And I think it's perfect for that kind of woodland style. Now you can see I put three little tea lights in there and that's just because I wanted to get some really glowing light showing. But everyone, these turned out so pretty and I hope that you did enjoy them. Now, once I get all of my sticks glued on, I don't think I add anything else to this one, maybe a few more little pine cones, but this gave me a lot of ideas to do with some of the birch tree designs, which that's another design that you can look forward to. I'm gonna be doing some things with making some birch tree designs for you also in the winter decor. I really do, everyone, have a lot of winter decor ideas to share with you. 
Well, everyone, we're coming up on the end here, and I've got this little piece displayed, and I think it just turned out adorable, and you'll have to let me know what you think. I think it's the perfect little Woodlands decor piece. Well, everyone, I do hope that you enjoyed today's DIYs, and if so, I hope you like this video, and don't forget to check out the links in the description box.